Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Always do your best. Surrender and let go of the past. This is a great card. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go in the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial is up 201. NASDAQ is up 126. S&Ps are up 28. When we look at the percentage moves out here, folks, <coughs> excuse me, we have, you have the NASDAQ up 1.4%. The S&Ps up 8 tenths of 1%. And the Dow Industrial is up 7 tenths of 1%. Gold, gold contract up, down five dollars and seventy cents, trading at fifteen seventy seven an ounce. We have silver off thirty five cents, seventeen dollars sixty five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, oh man, it is pounding this low with volume. You're down a buck fifty four, fifty dollars two cents. Looks like uh, light sweet crude on its way to forty five bucks. That's how it's set up. Notes and bonds, you get the ten year down four ticks, the thirty year up four. Now. The note and bond market, folks, is pretty incredible what happened out here intraday today. If we take a look at the note and bond market, what you're going to see out here is that on the 10-year, bottom line is that you got down to a low today of 131.04, totally rejected lower price. And now what you're doing once again is that you're going into your highest swing point with monster volume. We've already done 2.1 million contracts inside the 10. If we go take a look at the 10-year yield, what you're going to see out here is that we hit a high today of 1.57. We're at 1.52 right now. This little baby, you talk about a setup, man. This is, uh, we are going to go challenge the all-time low and the 10-year. And the all-time low right now, I believe, is 1.30. And 1.3, 1.3, 180. That was the low that was established out here in July of 2016. And you get if we break that baby, guess what? You're going to basically flat rates. And that's pretty intense, man. I mean, but that's projection-wise, that's how that's set up. This has been a one-way move inside the note market, inside the bond market, meaning higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar's got caught a bit out here. King dollar went down hard on Friday, snapped right back out here today. Bottom line, on Friday, what you did with King Dollar, you got got from a price point of 97,968. You get down to 97.354, you came right back. Now, that being said, what King Dollar has not done and is still quite a way away from is getting back inside its higher range. What King Dollar had done is this. King Dollar broke down the first week of December. It broke its uptrend, and it did break that uptrend with conviction. In order for King Dollar to get back in the higher trend, you'd have to basically go up uh, about two more pennies. Right now, we're at 97, 819. Eight, uh, the trend, the top of that trend is 99,561. So we'll see uh, if it can get any juice up there thus far. Uh, bottom line looks that we still just have a counter trend bounce. What we do have inside the gold market. So what gold is, is doing out here, Bottom line, gold refuses to back down also. Gold, gold rejected lower price out here today as it, let's see, GC, where are we? March? No, we're not in the March yet. One second, sorry about this. Here we go. Okay, so we're in the April contract. Gold hit a low today of 1573. You trade in 1581. It rejected lower price. It is building cause to go after the B point again. The B point in this contract is 1595. We hit 1598 today. You backed off. Bottom line is that you're still pushing that B point with volume. This is in a complex ABC structure on the way up right now. What that means, folks, is this, is that on the 8th of January, we got all the way up to 1619. It had taken out your swing point of 1595 and had volume behind the move. However, you gave it up on price. When you take out a swing, you give it up on price. Most times this goes right back up there. Bottom line, we'll see whether it has enough juice in order to basically take out this 1595. Today, you got up to 1598, didn't have enough uh, in it in order to basically 
stay up there to get over that whole area. Some of the higher volume equities out here in this market, and this is going to be a much lower volume market than we had on the way down on Friday. You get Tesla's the animal. This is like so amazing. It's just crazy. Up $112 trading $762. If you get over and we take a look at this, what you're going to see, and this is pretty serious business, that you still have 17.5% Shot interest in the equity, and if we bring this back, you're going to see Tesla on October 23rd was trading $251. Just, it's, it's, it is what it is. Bottom line, um, going much higher. It had a news article in uh, Barron's over the weekend, an analyst, you know, dreaming that it's going to go to $7,000. Bottom line, you had another upgrade, but what really put the kick in Tesla was when Panasonic came out with the statement that their battery factory is already in positive territory, making money. That, this, this, this is way before this battery factory was supposed to be making money, folks. Uh, and the bottom line is that why? It's, well, you, you, you get the aspect, in fact, what they say. Let's see. So uh, earlier today, Panasonic, which makes batteries to Tesla, its jointly owned battery operated in Nevada, said the business turned profitable in the quarter that ended December 31st. A rapid increase in Tesla's output helped push the business into the black. Uh, Panasonic chief financial officer told reporters in Tokyo. Uh, so that's, that's a big number. Of course, they're in a different time frame. But if you do take a look at Tesla, what you're going to see is that that acceleration was just fast and furious. Tesla had opened this morning at 673. Uh, bottom line went sideways for a bit and then just took off like a rocket ship at a noon from 722 all the way up to 786. So big numbers. Oil and oil equities, whole different ball game. What we have with the oil equities out here, you get ExxonMobil down $1.67. You're trading $60.44. This has broken its consolidation. This is serious business, Exxon. Exxon looks like it's on the way down to 56. We'll see how it handles that uh, 56 area. And what you have had is that these large integrated oils, no doubt, have been leading the price of oil down. The large integrators have been coming down for quite some time. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the managing director and head of product at Direction. They just had a huge conference, meaning the ETFs, last week. And, of course, we're going to talk about China. We got so many calls last week when they were trading the Direction shares in the United States when China was closed. Coming right Hi, back. folks. Tom O'Brien.